Looking back at my Pokemon with confusing types video, there are some Pokemon I talk about whose types actually make a bit more sense than I initially thought. For example, Pseudo Wudo actually makes perfect sense why it's not grass type. Its name is Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo, as in pseudo, meaning fake, and Wudo, meaning wood, meaning its name actually comes out as fake wood. That's actually really clever. Also, apparently Palkia is part water type because it's part of the creation trio, with Dialga, Palkia and Garatina representing the three forms of matter, Dialga representing solid, Palkia representing liquid, and Garatina representing gas. That makes Palkia's type make a little bit more sense. Apart from the fact that Palkia still has nothing that says water type about it, whether it be its appearance or Pokedex entry. I've come to realise when it comes to Pokemon types, it's more than just the appearance of the Pokemon. So I thought it'd be interesting this time to look at Pokemon moves that have types that either are questionable or just outright don't make any sense. So how I'm going to judge each move is by looking at them as if I've never seen them before. Looking at their name, their move description, and any Pokemon of a specific type that can learn that move, to try and make as much sense out of the move's type as possible. For example, the move Flamethrower is very obviously fire type. It's got flame in the name, is primarily learned by fire type Pokemon, and has many mentions of fire in its description, etc etc. So now let's start with the Pokemon move. Alright, so first off we have U-Turn. So this move has the user attacking the opponent and then fleeing back into the Pokeball. Looking at the Pokemon that can learn U-Turn, it's actually a huge variety of types. Well, what I understand from the move so far is that the user attacks and then flees, similarly to how a fighter would attack, then dodge. So in a way, it's kind of like a boxer bobbing and weaving. So I'm going to guess that U-Turn is a fighting type move. It isn't? Alright, well, looking at the move being used in battle, it looks like the user curls up into a ball and then flies at the opponent, then flies back into the Pokeball. U-Turn is also learned by quite a big number of flying type Pokemon. And the Japanese name for U-Turn is Round Trip, to journey from one or more places and then back again, kind of like planes do. So maybe U-Turn is a flying type move. It's not flying either. Alright, then what is it then? It's bug type. Okay, I guess it'd be similar to how some bugs attack their prey and then flee back after catching it, or flee back for safety. Okay, so let's look at another move. Oh come on, this couldn't be more obvious. Dragon Ascent. How freaking dragon is in its name? In fact, most dragon moves have dragon in the title. Dragon Claw, Dragon Breath, Dragon Dance, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Rage, Dragon Tail, and the only Pokemon that can learn Dragon Ascent is, what do you know, a dragon. I think I can say without a doubt that Dragon Ascent is a dragon type move. You're kidding me. Dragon Ascent? Dragon Ascent isn't a dragon move. Well then what is it then? Flying. After soaring upwards, the user attacks the target by dropping down out the sky at high sp- Oh f off. It's called Dragon Ascent! Ugh, well I guess the description and the animation makes a bit more sense why it's a flying type. The second part of the name is Ascent, as in to go up. But having the name of an actual Pokemon type in the title is very misleading. Alright, next we have Twister. Well, my instant thoughts are that it's a flying type move, since other moves like Gust and Hurricane are also flying type. Also, interesting fact, in Gen 1, Gust was actually a normal type move, but was changed to flying type in Gen 2. So the animation for Twister actually looks kind of similar to Hurricane. The description for Twister also says there whips up a vicious tornado or Twister that tears at the opponent. So I'm going to assume that it's a flying type move. <coughs> and it isn't. Well, of course it is, and I mean, it's not like it looks anything like other flying type moves or implies any similarities to other flying type attacks. It's mostly learnt by flying type Pokemon, but again, it's not a flying type attack. Maybe it's a water type attack then. <coughs> well, if it isn't flying a water, then I have no idea what it is. Okay, I am calling bullshit. Twister, the move where the user attacks the opponent with a tornado, is dragon type. But Dragon Scent, the move that has dragon in the name, is flying type. How confusing is that? Ugh, oh, alright, let's move on. Rock Climb. Well, let me guess. It's not a rock move. <coughs> no, I didn't think so. Well, Rock Climb in Gen 4 was used to scale rocky surfaces, so it would make sense if Rock Climb was a ground-type move. Quite a few ground-type Pokemon can learn it as well. So, is it ground-type? <coughs> no? Well, what else? Uh, well, the user does crash into the opponent with incredible force, and a lot of the Pokemon that learn this move would use their bare hands to scale the rocky surfaces. So, it's a fighting type? <coughs> Steel type? <coughs> well then what is it then? Get the f*** out. Normal type? Really? Frickin' normal type? Aren't normal attacks supposed to be based off standard attacks like Tackle or Scratch? Or even to some extent Hyper Beam, which is just a powerful beam. It makes more sense to be normal than probably any other type. Well, at least I thought that, but it turns out that Rock Climb, yet another move with another type in its name, 
is normal type. Well, I guess apart from the scaling rocks part, it does say that the user attacks a target by smashing into it with incredible force. So I guess it can be seen as a basic enough a normal attack, kind of like the moves headbutt and head charge. And well, since they're normal type, I guess head smash is also <coughs> what? I, I don't understand. What makes head smash a different type to headbutt and head charge? It's a rock type. Well, it does turn out that quite a few rock type Pokemon learn head smash. But that also goes for headbutts. I'm pretty sure if someone wants to guess out of rock climb and head smash which one was rock type and which one was normal type, most people will get mixed up. So next we have spikes. If we take a look at the other entry hazards, stealth rock is a rock type move because it hurts Pokemon that switch in with rocks, toxic spikes is poison type move because it poisons Pokemon that switches in, and sticky web is a bug type move because it slows Pokemon that switch in with what looks like a spider's web. So as spikes hurt Pokemon that switch in with what looks like metallic looking spikes, the move spikes must be a steel type then. No? Okay, well since flying type Pokemon and Pokemon that can levitate are immune to spikes, spikes is ground type? Okay, I have a bone to pick with that. So spikes is a ground type move because Pokemon who don't touch the ground aren't affected by it. But flying and levitating Pokemon are also immune to toxic spikes and sticky web. With stealth rock, they're being hurt by rocks, so surely being hurt by metal looking spikes, spikes should be steel type. But possibly the biggest reason that questions why spikes is a ground type move, do you know how many ground type Pokemon can learn spikes, whether it be level up, or egg move, or special condition? Zero! Not one ground type Pokemon. Almost every Pokemon that can learn Stealth Rock and Toxic Spikes are either Rock or Poison type respectively, and the only Pokemon that can learn Sticky Web are Bug type. Now understandably, Spikes being a ground type move does make some sense since Spikes is similar to real life grounded traps like Stingers to stop cars, and the Japanese name for spikes is actually Caltrop. But even then, most of the time these traps are not made from the earth, they're made of metal, especially Caltrops. It's not like the spikes do more damage to Pokemon that are weak to ground, like Stealth Rock does more damage to Pokemon that are weak to rock. Spikes does exactly the same amount of damage to anyone who touches it. And again, why can't any ground type Pokemon learn this ground type move? All right, let's look at another spike related move, Spiky Shield. Well, I assume it's not a ground type move. So Spiky Shield protects the user while at the same time hurting the opponent if they make contact. The Japanese name for Spiky Shield is Needle Guard. So... Steel? Wait, what am I thinking? Spiky Shield used to be the signature move of Chestnut, and the only Pokemon that can learn Spiky Shield are Grass-type. So, it's Grass-type. Okay, there we go. Alright, so next we have Spike Cannon. So this move fires sharp spikes or pins at the opponent. So, this time is it Steel-type? No? Well, let's look at the Pokemon that can learn it. Okay, they're all water type, so is it water type? <coughs> Rock type? <coughs> Ice type? <coughs> what type is it then? Normal. Again? Whatever. Right, what's next? Map block. I swear this better not be a freaking normal type move. <coughs> okay, good. So, map block protects the user and his allies using a pulled up mat as a shield. The Japanese name for map block is Tatami Flip, with Tatami being a type of mat used as flooring material in Japanese style rooms. So the user pulls up a mat out of the ground. Well, surely if Spikes is a ground type move, then this is a ground type move as well. <coughs> no? Wait a minute. Map Block is one of Greninja's signature moves, like Spiky Shield to Chestnut, but I don't see Map Block being a water type move. Well, what about Dark type? Greninja's other signature move, Water Shuriken, is water type, and Greninja's second type is Dark, and it will make sense that Greninja could sneakily pull out a mat to protect itself and its teammates. So, is Map Block a Dark type move? <coughs> oh, come on! Ugh, I don't know, uh, martial artists use mats to fight on? Fighting type? Of course it is. Well actually, if you think about it, a lot of the protecting moves are fighting type. Protect is the generic protecting move, so it's normal type. But then you have detect, which allows the user to evade incoming attacks. And quick guard, which protects from priority attacks. So this must mean that Y guard is also a fighting move. <coughs> Wait, really? Uh, maybe psychic type? <coughs> normal? <coughs> the hell is it then? Oh, b to that. Frickin' rock type! Oh, okay, let's see. Blades of wind, learned by many flying types. Shot in the duck. Flying type? <coughs> no. Uh, dragon? <coughs> well, I don't know then. Normal type. Normal- oh, Alright, let's move on. A pleasant aroma distracts the targets. Okay, my first guess is gonna be grass type, since it sounds and looks like a grass type move. And the majority of Pokemon that can learn Sweet Scent are also grass type, as well as Sweet Scent outside of battles attracting Pokemon in the grass. So by any chance, is it possible that Sweet Scent is a grass type move? Oh, sorry, my bad. Of course Sweet Scent isn't a f***ing grass type move. Oh, maybe bug? Poison? I don't know, fairy? 
Please don't tell me it's normal type. Oh, uh, um, uh, fighting to <laughs> normal type. Yes, 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 of course. <laughs> that means Mega Kick is a normal type move as well, right? All right, this looks really difficult. A move that has the chance of paralyzing, burning, and freezing. That looks like it has the elements of electricity, fire, and ice. How is anyone supposed to... Wait a minute. I've got it. When in doubt, normal it out. It's a normal type move. Of course. Fence. Well, I guess it'd be a fighting to... No, 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 no. Not fighting. Normal type. Of course it is. Belly drum, normal type. Attract, normal type. Covert, normal. Play nice, normal. Comet punch, it's freaking normal. Lick, normal. <coughs> what? Lick isn't normal type. It's learnt by mostly normal type Pokemon. The target is licked by a long tongue. That's about as basic as you can get. Well, if it's not normal type, what is it? Ghost. Oh, come on. Ghost type? Why? Because Haunter was shown licking Charmander during the original Pokemon theme. May paralyze the opponent. Hmm, so the target becomes so in shock of being licked, they become paralyzed. Well, if they're going to be paralysed after a lick, surely the poison typing would make a bit more sense than the ghost type. Alright, let's wrap this up. Okay, so the final two moves are Morning Sun and Moonlight. So for Morning Sun, it's a move that heals the user by using the Morning Sunlight. It also heals the user more if used in the sun, and heals less in any other weather. So let's get the obvious answer out of the way, Fire type. <coughs> Honestly, judging by how the video was going, I kind of doubted it. Well, the move did used to be the signature move of Espeon, so maybe it's a Psychic type. <coughs> Okay, let's look at Moonlight. Well, Moonlight is pretty much the same exact move as Morning Sun. It heals the user by the same amount and heals them more in the sunlight. But since Morning Sun isn't a psychic type like Espeon, I'm guessing that Moonlight isn't a dark type like Umbreon. <coughs> well, it could be Fairy, like the move Moonblast. And it's learned by Clefairy, a fairy type Pokemon that evolves with a Moonstone. So, Fairy type? Okay, right, let's go back to Morning Sun. Uh, maybe it's the same type as Moonlight. So, Fairy? <coughs> oh, Flying? <coughs> Grass? <coughs> well then I give up, what is it then? Oh no, 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 get the f*** out! Normal? Really? Morning Sun is a normal type move. They could have at least changed it instead of keeping it a normal type move since Gen 2. In fact, Moonlight is a fairy move, which means they must have changed Moonlight's typing since Moonlight was around before the fairy typing. It's possible Moonlight used to be a dark type move since it was introduced in the second generation as one of Umbreon's main moves. But it turns out that before becoming a fairy type move, Moonlight's typing during generations 2 to 5 was actually... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It used to be a normal type move? Then why the hell is Morning Sun still a normal type move? I mean, I can understand looking at Moonlight and thinking, oh, that's pretty boring as a normal type move, let's change it to fairy to match Moonblast typing. But if they change Moonlight, why the hell not Morning Sun? That's ridiculous! If anything, Morning Sun has more reason to have its type changed since it's called Morning Sun, a move that boosts the user's health more in the sunlight. What other sun-based moves do we have? Sunny Day. What type is that? Not a f***ing normal one, it isn't. This one really gets to me. Morning Sun and Moonlight are basically twins. You change both, or you change nothing. Not change just one! Seriously, Moonlight got its typing changed, but Morning Sun is still a normal move. You know what, I'm gonna leave it there, that's about all I can take for now. Thanks a lot for making it to the end of the video, I really do appreciate it. Leave any moves in the comments which I didn't talk about that also have confusing typings. Or better, correct me if I made any mistakes. As if it means that you can make sense of any of these typings, that'd be great. Please like if you did enjoy the video, and if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. I try to upload at least one video every week. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.